Hey guys, just want to talk about being single because somebody did bring it up that single people are victimized because they they pay more on everybody than everybody else. Um, you do. I mean, whether it's insurance because it's a higher risk, like the village idiot that tried to do some road rage with me last last week um, before realizing I was much bigger than him after he went round the roundabout the wrong way. Um, then he suddenly had a different different tone. Uh, but the point being is, there's a prime example of why things are more expensive, higher risk. Now, if you're on about paying more tax, national insurance, etc., then yeah, you also can end up paying more on everything. Um, because this is part and parcel of the system. Part and parcel of the system is designed around a socialist system that takes from one to pay the other. And I don't think I've mentioned this already, but I was watching The Alienists the other day, and there was a uh, two policemen were talking about socialism. They said the difference between capitalism and socialism is uh, one takes from man and gives to another man. The other one is the other way around, uh, which I think pretty much sums it up. What you've got to do is recognise that people extort wherever they can doesn't matter who or what government it's always about that what you need to recognize is how you can protect yourself against it self-employment for example and getting an understanding of how to change uh, charge for pretty much everything and get as many expenses back as possible um, you remove yourself from having a fixed wage etc etc move to umbrella company move to consultancy etc and you hammer your expenses this Mac here I couldn't run on expenses, bizarrely. The, the, the Mac I had here, because I said, well, um, it's not used for business. Bizarrely, uh, within six months, I was at Birmingham University, and I went and bought a uh, Mac Air laptop, and I could run that on expenses, because it was mobile. This is how dumb some of this stuff is. They're both being used for company use. But sometimes you've got to go, well, they ain't going to give me that. Okay, so I'll take this instead. And some people say, oh, yeah, but you only get the tax back on it. Yeah, but you're, you're forgetting an important thing here. You're bringing down how much you earned that year significantly by running everything you can. Um, and there's nothing wrong with it. The system's designed for it. Where... They are quite happy and they tell you to you shouldn't be doing this stuff is because it suits them it's all right to have people that want to fence themselves in i'm worried if the tax man does this i'm worried about this i'm worried if they get this wrong the tax man gets it wrong the tax man gets it wrong all the time when my father retired they got his national insurance contributions and his tax wrong 16 times in one year because he had a military pension, he had a job, and he had a private pension and some other bits and pieces, and they couldn't work out how to actually do his tax, even though they had all the information, and it's all fixed amounts. And this is the tax authorities. This is the HMRC. In the same way, they taxed me for a car I didn't have, and it was only that I recognized it was done, because I know Carillion, in my personal opinion, does this stuff on purpose um, was uh, does it for a bit of tax avoidance on their side because if I've got the car there's some tax incentives there but when I recognized they they'd left it on there after me stressing that this needs to be removed and I contacted even the tax authority myself and then clearly did bother updating it to confirm it um, I instantly got a th 1000 I think it's 1200 pounds something like that back um, in overpayments because they tax you on having a company car. Um, just realize that the tax man is not there. Yeah, they're not your friend. They're a parasite. Just recognize it doesn't matter if you're conservative or labor. They're going to take money out of the working person regardless. I do recommend reading Rich Dad Poor Dad, which actually covers some of these things relating to the fact that if the poor are getting a a gain on a living standard or financial gain or whatever it is not taken from the rich because the rich already have the ability to adjust themselves 
to whatever they need. So they will find a way to not pay it. The people that pay it are the people in the middle. The people in the middle are you and I. And we will always end up paying it because the system has been designed that way and the rich people quite honestly can afford the best accountants the best banking and financial people and at the same time will always utilize the services of others to solve these problems for them the poor on the other hand will grumble like mad when you try and take something back when the labor government was in power in the uk it was it, well, it did a lot of damage to the economy, that's one side. But it took the living standards above even a, a realistic viewpoint where people start saying, you're better off on benefits. And sadly, that is true. Not having to worry about a house, not having to worry about a thing. As long as you've got kids, you will, you will get the system in your favor. That's reality. But as a single person, recognize that the system's playing against you. As a, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, same thing. But when it comes to divorces and whatever, it's definitely in the woman's favor. But if you recognize these things, prepare yourself for it and find ways around it. Crypto space, for example, they have no idea how much assets you've got. So if you siphoned off your savings, which are taxable, unless it's in some like an ISA that isn't paying that much anyway, um, you could actually utilize hidden savings. If you take into account property, if you're buying property while you're still living with mum and dad, recognize you can still put the other place down as your home, even if you're not there. There's reasons for that, tax reasons. Um, you can also put a lot of expenses against it. Renovations, tins of paint, whatever. They have costs that you can use for tax deduction. Um, if you're working for yourself, it's much better to be self-employed and utilizing everything you can to save as much as you can. Um, realize that you are entitled to fight against the tax man. They push themselves that they're doing you a favor and they, they, they push the fact that people worry about the tax man. They are like the old tax collectors, which were no more than thugs. That hasn't changed much. Um, but what you've got to recognize is that the system has abilities for movement in there because you've got to bear in mind some of these people setting up these rules and regulations and the tax authority decisions are often the people at the top that still need to avoid paying tax themselves. There is no such thing as fairness in paying the right amount of tax. There is no right amount of tax. It doesn't exist. The reason there's no right amount of tax is you would sit there and go, oh, okay, what about MP expenses? What about pensions that are not taxed while others are? What about things like the pensions if you're working for the governments that um, sit above inflation while other people are not only paying more tax and often have a lot less benefits and will retire much later and having to save for their own pension as well and have that taxed. Where's the fairness in that? Um, I would have to say people need to recognize there is nobody on your side. This is why I like MGTOW a bit, because MGTOW has a movement there where people are actually recognizing the problems within societies around the world, especially Western societies. Um, the way there's a shift in the way people are portrayed, seen, and sponged off. Um, and I do agree that single people do get hammered as well, but that's all part and parcel of this. 
it's not it's not a separate issue it's part and parcel of it um, and that's why I say you don't owe the state nothing and this is what I've said to people before relating to myself I don't owe the United Kingdom nothing and people go well that's unpatriotic but who am I patriotic towards well because somebody says you must do this and then you then have to follow them into conflicts that they decide is right or wrong at the same time we don't see Tony Blair being tried for treason or is it a case of it just suits a cause because then you're not allowed to actually argue your point that things are not right things are skewed things have been manipulated um, because that's the reality of it it's not about being unpatriotic or anything else it's about the fact that they hide behind it the same as when a conflict begins they want to send your kids off to war at the same time how many of these leaders send their own kids or have served themselves it's probably the scarcest rocking horse poo that's reality but anyway that's enough on that today but yeah if you're single I get it and at the same time realize you can do a lot more do the research on it look into are you better off self-employed how can you become self-employed and run things through your accounts how can you do this um, like relating to buying a property and then utilizing all the tax benefits you can on that to pay it off early at the same time running up as many expenses as you can um, in multiple ways including being your own home even if you're not living there there's lots of things you can do um, and I know sometimes I get hammered for actually telling people this sort of stuff but you know what if you've got a problem focus on MP expenses focus on the pension funds they create for themselves and the pay rises they create for themselves and the quangos and other things they pay themselves on on these boards that are self-electing and a lot of time nobody knows who's actually on it um, so they're getting like 11 paychecks a month or whatever um, I think that's far more important than me actually trying to help people that are young to recognize that it's not so black and white. There is other opportunities out there. There is ways to not beat the system, but simply recognize there's other opportunities out there that you can utilize completely legal and completely within the system, which as you know, that's the phrase MPs use a lot, completely within the rules completely within the system um, I didn't realize that was wrong having a second house that I just rent out and had it furnished with taxpayers money it was completely within the rules um, so yeah I agree with you in many things thanks for watching